this is um, what's left of a Ryobi RA200 radial arm saw. They were produced uh, for a while, but then they became uh, dangerous. There's a product recall. For a while, you could get $75, I guess, if you shipped it back to Ryobi. And the uh, common complaint was that the uh, motor housing would crack and the blade and the motor would become uh, a missile and attack the operator. And I uh, had seen it and um, happened to see one of these on eBay. You see them once in a while on Craigslist or eBay when the owner doesn't know that the uh, product has been recalled. And it's apparently illegal to sell the thing anymore. But I don't know if the rebate is still in effect. And I just wanted to uh, play with it, uh, maybe a lesson in futility. What I did notice was that the frame and the uh, radial arm, most of this was uh, well-made uh, aluminum casting, very solid, very decent. The um, armature and the motor housing, are, as far as I'm concerned, okay. The only thing that I noticed when I was taking it apart, and I noticed the two places where it did crack, the armature housing was attached to this plastic motor housing with what are called tap screws. There were two short ones and two long ones. And where they put the two short cap screws were where you can see the uh, blue tape now and where it cracked. Apparently the short tap screws didn't get enough bite into the plastic and the uh, detent or the little channel, the reinforced channel, cracked and then it cracked the rest of the motor housing. Um, you know, what can you do? Throw it out? What the hell? Anyway, what I've decided to try to do, and if you see any more of this video, it's because it did work, is that I went into the crack in the housing, cleaned it with acetone, scraped it out a bit, and then finished the cracks on both sides with a 2,000 pound um, epoxy and let that harden for uh, a day. Then the two reinforced channels that had cracked, I made sort of a dam, a coffer dam, with painter's tape and then filled it with um, JB Weld. This is a steel reinforced epoxy. You can drill it and tap it. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's really recommended for plastic, so we're going to have to see. But what I plan on doing, if it uh, hardens up and if I can uh, flatten it off a bit, is instead of using the two short tap screws that are on the right, I got some cap screws from um, the orange box store, stainless steel. And what I'm going to attempt to do is to drill and tap these two areas that are repaired with a extra long cap screw. These are uh, inch and a half. And in this case, I'm using a 1032 uh, stainless instead of the uh, tapping screw that they used originally. You can't get the original parts. Everything on the uh, parts list is discontinued, and um, Ryobi is in mourning over this one. So uh, uh, this may or may not work, and if you do see the rest of this, it's because it did work. And if it doesn't work, the uh, little stand is uh, well made. It's uh, compact, and I plan on... Uh, making a, uh, a motor adapter and putting a Colt, a Bosch Colt, or a small Porter Cable router on this uh, radial arm section and using it for uh, a radial arm router, I guess is the best word to put it. But anyway, this is just um, only doing this in case someone else has one of these and doesn't want to throw it out and doesn't want to what to do with it. And again, JB Weld filled into the broken areas with a dam made out of blue painter's tape. Okay, that's it for this installment.